Hello everyone, it's me, David Klopic, and today I found this site called plotgenerating.org.uk, so I thought I'd give it a try. I did it once, but it's kind of like, it sucks so bad, you know. It says, inspiration for your next novel, film, or short story. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Yay. Alright, so let's get started. So you can generate an entire short story or a movie script, which is a film script. Or British or create a blurb I don't know what a blurb means but oh well freestyle romance fantasy paranormal romance crime horror mystery you get the idea you got the pen name generator song lyrics letter and rebel so let's get started by writing an entire short story I think here we go need a prompt go random fill the entire form with random plot no i will do it myself name after the protagonist okay so you can select the title okay name after the secondary and object after the weather and the place where it all happens let's say name after the protagonist set the scene launch into action focus on our relationship i guess we should focus on our relationship conflict um got emotional violent and financial i guess we should go with emotional all right uh resolution happy sad or violent i guess we should go with happy all right your protagonist all right i'm gonna put myself damn it there we go i mail <coughs> that's my name by the way my secondary character, hmm, alright, okay, my secondary character is most likely to be Nodoka Maneid. What does the second character want from the protagonist? Closure, revenge, a hug. Okay, uh, she wants to be friends with him. Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you what this is like. How does the second character feel about the protagonist? Well, I guess positively. Sadly, the protagonist would like to say the second character. Let's move in together, I think. The name of the place where it all happens. Uh, Moscow, Truro, London, no. Bertsko. But I'll type Bertsko because it's way better. How did the protagonist feel about the place? Positively. A feature of the place. Um, let's just say the river Sava. Two adjectives that could be used to describe the place. Um, big and loud. Uh, let's just say crowded because that makes sense. Four emotion adjectives. Happy, stressed, which I already put in. Worried and um, let's try shy, I think. I'm just putting random ideas, I don't know. An adjective that could describe an object. Solid, let's go with that. Five adjectives to describe somebody's character. Let's see, giving, scamming. Okay, let's just put random. Friendly and helpful and giving should be good. Patient and let's go with adorable. Smelly, tight-fisted, colors, delightful, brave. Okay, an occasion, birthday party. Let it be like that. Three verbs, okay. I guess I should go with running and let's go with hugging, I think, and as well as go with um, talking. Okay, here we go. Something, somebody, vulnerable, singular. Okay, let's uh, with a disabled person. A noun you might compare the main character to, um, let's say he, uh, which is the main character, which is me, I am, oh, uh, angel. Let's go with that. A noun you might compare to the other character to, well, he's not really a, let's just say she's a, uh, she's high school girl. Alright, type of music, jazz. The protagonist's favorite drink, tea has to be. Two objects, uh, a map and a teapot. Wow, okay. Knife, no, book. Currency in plural, dollars, gold pieces, arrows. I don't know, let's put arrows because I use that sometimes. A noun to do with the weather, uh, let's just try moon. Three animals. Pigeons, rabbits, and, and kittens. That's the best choice. Two body parts, plural. Hair, and let's go with legs. How are I to describe the physical characteristics? Um, slimy, squat, charming, skinny. Oh yeah, fluffy it is then. Finally, what's your pen name? My pen name is the name of me yourself. Here we go, this is the moment of the truth. Giving David Klopic. Wow, already a dumb title, really. A short story by David Klopic. That's okay. David Klopic was thinking about Nora Kamanev again. 
Nalaka was a brave high school girl with charming hair and fluffy legs. Woof wah wah legu. David walked over to the window and reflected on his crowded surroundings. He had always loved Big Butchko with his tasteless thundering the river Sala. Um, it was a place that encouraged his tendency to feel happy. Then he saw something in the distance, or rather someone. He was a brave figure of Thalaka Maneb. David gulped. He glanced at his own reflection. He was a giving patient tea drinker with a chubby hair and beautiful legs. <laughs> okay, maybe not. His friends saw him as annoyed, afraid angel, really. Once he had even made a cup of tea for a proud disabled person. But not even a giving person who had once made a cup of tea for a proud disabled person was prepared for what Nalaka had in store today. The moon sh shone like running pigeons, making David shy. That grab the solid map that had been strewn nearby, he massaged it with his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Massaging a freaking map. Really? Okay. As David stepped outside the, and Noloka came closer, he could see the courageous glint in her eye. Noloka gazed with the affection of 4668 <laughs> She said in hushed notes, I love you and I want to be friends with him. Okay. They look better, more shy and still Fingering the solid map. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Fingering a solid map. That that's me. That's just Nodoka. Let's move in together. He replied. They looked at each other with strange feelings, like two regur regurgitated robust rabbits hugging at a very friendly birthday party, which had jazz music playing in the background and two helpful uncles talking to the beat. Talking to the beat. I am a Superman. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, David regarded Nalaka's charming hair and fluffy legs. I feel the same way, revealed David with a delighted grin. Nalaka looked worried, her emotions blushing like a big boiled book. Bo boiling books, okay. Then Nalaka came inside for a nice cup of tea. The end. Okay, now that was a pretty nice, but I had some mistakes though. I guess we should... Should I publish? No, I should not publish, but... There you have it, that's how it looks like, it's just so dumb, like, so dumb. But even though this is actually a really nice try, I should get myself on a movie plot. So, um, just please stay tuned, and we'll be right back. <laughs> So we're back, I had a little meal, so here we go. Now, as I promised, we're gonna start with the movie script generator, which is to generate a movie script using a lot of stuff here. So let's start uh, one of my ideas, I will show you that later. It's called the Yoka movie Return to Vienna. So I'm gonna see if this thing actually works. Here we go. So, what type of story do you wish to tell? Overcoming the monster is the only choice. Says more story types coming soon. Yeah, you better. Okay, I'm just kidding. Alright, choose three locations. Internal and external. Okay. External is outside. I'm still learning English, so excuse me if I'm a bit suck, but I'm trying my best. Alright, choose three locations. First one is going to be Vienna. Second one is going to be Schönbrunn Castle, which is internal, and the external should be Belvedere Castle. Uh, let's just type it in to know all these places are Vienna. Okay, give me a sec. Maybe we should start with Bechko first. Because I once tried it and it already started in Vienna, but the whole thing starts in Bechko. But here we go. Alright. Your protagonist. Name, title, first name, and last name. Okay, alright. Yoka, Yoka Nikolic. Not Nolan. That's the main character. This is the name of the actor. Two adjectives to describe him or her. Um, she's brave and she's, um, let me think about it. She's friendly. She's a hero. Alright. A sidekick. Mm, let's start with Rada. <coughs> Shit, sorry. Um, damn it. Sometimes I don't really like it when everything has to go like this, but oh well. Alright, have I put in? Yes, I did. Rada Radmila Gaich, female. She is skilled and also brave. Job sidekick. A love interest. Really? Okay. She doesn't have a love interest, but I'm gonna put me because. Okay. Alright, I use this. Alright, two adjectives to describe him or her. Um, kind, 
but serious. And job is, let's say a writer, an enemy. Alright, here we go. His name is Margos. The actor of him is Zeljko Jovic. He's, he's currently in the gymnasium, just like I am. So, uh, but we're pretty good friends now. <laughs> Alright, two negative adjectives that could be used to describe people. Mean, destructive. Um, let's just say he's... Let's, let's give a suggest. Spiteful, scamming, peculiar. He's a bit peculiar, if you know what I'm saying. Stingy, wild. Okay, let's go with that. He is wild after all. His job is a freaking villain. Alright, most of these I used to... That I already put in, so I showed you. A type of monster, um, he's a thief, I think, because I don't know any other, he's not really a monster, he's just a normal, I mean, but maybe we could just type a ro robot, maybe a robot should work, Robo robotoid, I think, <laughs> yeah, yeah, alright, weapons that could be used to defeat that type of monster, plural, swords, let's go with that, something precious, alright, let's go, um, something precious, let's try a ring, I don't know, an adjective to describe the precious object, it's gold, golden ring, a vegetable, let's go with turnip, because last time it says, get ready to die, you stupid carrot, I think, I don't know, you'll see, the protagonist's favorite type of sweet, uh, that has to be chocolate. A type of music, let's be piano music. No, uh, she likes, um, let's type folk. Alright, um, a group of victims in a plural. Let's try children again. Something bad the monster might do to its victims, um, punch, I think. Like punch the kids. Ugh. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, we're not gonna go with the punch. Let's see. Poke. It's just a little like this, and you look like a, uh, something like that. No. Vandalize. Eat. This is not a monster. Stab. Why would it do that? Exterminate. Terrorize. Should do the job because it just scares them. Like. Uh. All right. An embarrassing secret you might reveal at a weak moment. Like I'm afraid of sausages. <laughs> I once typed I'm a bit clumsy. I mean, I typed I'm a bit clumsy. So I'm gonna put L between. So I know. What's my pen name? My pen name is David Kovic. This took faster than I thought, and everything is full, and it's ready to be done. Okay. Let's do it. Nah, I'm so excited. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. The tight-fisted robotoid. What a dumb name. Margos is not actually a robotoid. He's a human with, with powers of a robot. I mean, he's able to do anything, but he just never succeeds. External Birchko Afternoon. Okay, a screenplay by me. Brave hero Yoka Yoka Nikolic, which is already a first mistake. So, first of all, Yoka Nikolic and David Klopic, which is indeed me, are actors in the whole thing, so... Why would you type Yoka Yoka Nikolic or David David Klopic? Like, I mean, that makes no sense. You should just call her Yoka. Yoka Nikolic is the actor. Is arguing with skilled writer David David Klopic. Maybe I should have typed Super Test, but that would be Super Test David Klopic's four freaking name. Yoka tries to hug David, but he shakes her off. Okay, Yoka never hugs a boy except when prompted, and David, which is me, never shook anyone off if for a hug. Please, David, don't leave me. Okay, now that's ridiculous. We're just friends, okay? I'm sorry, Yoka, but I'm looking for somebody a bit more brave. Somebody who faces her fears head on instead of running away. I am such a person. She is actually. You, it's just that this generator is freaking out of control. I'm s okay, David frowns. I'm sorry, Yoka, I just don't feel excited by this relationship anymore. Okay, I would never say that. I not, I'm never gonna give up on her and that's it. Wait, did I just really expose myself? David leaves. Yoka sits down, looking defeated. Moments later, kind sidekick Rada Radmilagaic, or just called Rada or Radoka, barges in, looking flustered. Goodness, Radmila, is everything okay? I'm afraid not. What is it? Don't keep me in suspense. It's a robotoid. <laughs> I just made that up. I saw an evil robotoid terrorize a bunch of children. Defenseless children. Yes, yeah, defenseless children. Bloom and heck, Radmila. <laughs> <laughs> Bloomin' heck! Sorry about that. Um, we got to do something. 
I agree, but I wouldn't know where to start. You can start by telling me where this happened. Okay. I was... Radmila fans herself and begins to wheeze. Focus, Radmila, focus. Where did it happen? Shambron Castle. That's right. Shambron Castle. Yoka springs up and begins to run. Suddenly, she came from Bachko and she's already in Vienna for like freaking 15 minutes. No. The whole journey goes through a through Maribor and all the stars in Slovenia after getting to Vienna, it's a really long way. <coughs> but oh well. Yoka rushes along the street, followed by Radmila. They take a short cut through some back gardens, jumping fences along the way. Željko Jovic is a tight-fisted robotoid that terrorizes two children. Yoka, closely followed by Radmila, rushes towards Željko, but suddenly stops in her tracks. What? What is? What is is? Okay. A grammatical mistake. What's the matter? That's not the old robot toy. That's Željko Jovic. <laughs> That's the actor's name of Margot. Seriously. Who's Željko Jovic? Who's Željko Jovic? Who's Željko Jovic? He's only the most tight-fisted robot toy in the universe. Why did I put tight-fisted? And he's not the only one in the universe. There's still more of these. Okay. Blinking knickers, Yoka. Really? Blinking knickers? Who the fuck says that? We're going to need some help if we're going to stop the most tight-fisted robotoid in the universe. You can say that again. Blinking knickers, okay, now she just repeats. I'm going to need swords. Lots of swords. Jericho turns and sees Yoka and Radna. He grins an evil grin. Yoka and Nikolic, we meet again. Just say Yoka, damn it. You've met? Yes, it was a long, long time ago. A, a park back in time. <clears throat> a young Yoka is sitting in a park, listening to some folk music. Da -da 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 -da. When suddenly a dark shadow casts over her, she looks up and sees Jelko. She takes off her headphone. Would you like some chocolate? Yoka's eyes light up and he studies Jelko more closely and looks uneasy. I don't know, you look kind of tight twisted. What? No, I'm not tight twisted. I'm the least tight twisted robotoid in the world. Wait, you're a robotoid? Yoka runs away screaming. That makes sense, okay. Shambrun Castle present day. You were a coward then and you are a coward now. Wow, that's something. You ran away? I was a young child. What was I supposed to do? Yoka turns to Jericho. I may have run away from you then, but I won't run away this time. And then Yoka run away. Really? She turns back and shouts. I mean, I am running away, but I'll be back with swords. I'm not scared of you. You should, really. Belvedere Castle later that day. Yoka and Radna walk around searching for such. I'm pretty sure I left my summons ar around here. What? She left swords in Belvedere? That's the place where you're supposed to get them. Get David, of course. I wish it does seem like an odd place to keep deadly swords. You know nothing, Radmila guy. Freaking Radoka. We've been searching for ages. I really don't know if they're here. Suddenly Jericho appears holding a pair of swords. Looking for something? Crikey, Yoka, he's got your sword. Tell me something I don't already know. The Earth's circumference at the equator is about 40,075 kilometers. Now that's the best. I know that already. I'm a bit clumsy. Really? Dude! While Jericho is looking at her with disgust, Yoka longs forward and grabs her deadly source. He wields him triumphant. Prepare to die, you tight fist the turnip. <laughs> die yeah, prepare to die. No, please, all I did was terrorize a bunch of children. David enters unseen by any of the others. Really? Anonymous. Hello? I cannot tolerate that kind of behavior. Those children were defenseless. Well, now they have a defender, and that's me. Yoka Nikolai, defender of innocent children. She's not just the defendant of innocent children, she's the defendant of the world number two after Super Tech. Don't hurt me, please. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't use this sword on you right away. Because Yoka, I am your father. I am your father. Star Wars references. <laughs> Yoka looks stunned for a few moments, but then collects herself. No, you're not. Ah, well, it had to be worth a try. Jeku tries to grab the sword, but Yoka dodges out of the way. Who's the dad now, huh? Huh? Unexpectedly, Jeku slumps to the ground. Really? Did he just faint? I think so. Well, that's disappointing. I was rather hoping for a more dramatic conclusion involving my deadly swords. Yoka crouches over Jeku's body. Be careful, Yoka. It could be a trick. No, it's not a trick. It appears that it would seem Jeku Jovich is dead. What? Yes, it appears that I scared him to death. So your sword did save the day after all. David steps forward. Is it true? Did you kill the typhus, the robotoid? David, how long have you been? Long enough. Then you saw it for yourself. I killed Zhelikoyovich. Okay, he did not kill the person, he killed the imaginary character. Then the children are safe? It does seem that way. A crowd of vulnerable children enter, looking relieved. You are the hero. The children bow to Yoka. There is no need to bow to me. I seek no worship. The knowledge that Jericho would never tear his children ever again is enough for me. You are humble as well as brave. One of the children passes Yoka a golden ring. I think they want to have it as a symbol of the dragon. I couldn't possibly... 
while if he insists. Yoka takes the ring. Thank you. The children bomb their hands once more and leave. Yoka turns to that. Does this mean you want me back? Oh, oh, Yoka, of course I want you back. Yoka smiles for a few seconds, but then looks defiant. Well, you can't have me. What? You had no faith in me. You had to see my scare robot toy to death before you would believe in me. I don't want a lover like that. But please leave. I want to spend my time with one of the person who stayed with me to thick and thin, my best friend Radmila. Radmila grins. But you heard the lady, now be off with you. Skidaddle, shoo! Yoka, I'm sorry that, but I think you shoo, Skidaddle. Radmila turns to Yoka while I leave. Did you mean that you know that I'm your best friend? Of course you are. The two walk off arm in arm. Suddenly Radmila stops. When I said I'm a bit clumsy, you know I was just trying to distract the robot toy, don't you? Yeah. And then she says, you can't have me. Like, fu like, fuck you, dude. You can't have me. You haven't, you haven't been with me the whole time. So fuck you. Go, go, go back to your own country. I have a, I have a better guy to spend my life with. Alright, alright. Well, maybe like that. And then he's like, skid out of the fuck out of here before I, I sm scare you to death too. <laughs> like, seriously. And then I'm like, I'm left by the side, like, all right, as you as you say, I, I'm done. I'm I'm done with my life, and and then I just walk away and kill myself. Yay! If that was the story, then this would be called Return to to Vienna and and okay, I have no ideas. But if you know how the title should be known, then post down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate to see what you guys think about it. So here we go. Uh, okay, so that was for the mistakes here. Uh, she says, well, when I said I'm a bit clumsy, you know I was just trying to distract the robot toy, don't you? The end. Alright, that that is enough. This is simply the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I think I'm, I'm better at writing the plot myself. And maybe if I write the plot, I will show it to you again. You can check it on DeviantArt too. Also, I stopped Sakura Gaoka for a bit, I'm just collecting some ideas, what should I put next and all, or maybe I could even restart it because, really, it's just not really good. But oh well, if you're enjoying it, then I'm enjoying it too. I'm also writing a Serbian version for everyone to understand who's speaking Serbian. So anyways, that should do it for this video, this was a little longer video than expected, but after all, this was the show of David Klopic, so have a nice day everyone and see ya next time. Of course, let me, let me think what you think about the story in the comments below and tell me what were you expecting here too. Did you expect some romance or did you really expect the ending where Yoka just whoosh, skid out of the fuck out of here like that. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs>